الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله I wanted to talk about even though it's this holy month of Ramadan but because unfortunately even with this holy month this blessed month شهر شهر مبارك that fitna never ceases and confusion never ceases and jahil never ceases and ta'asib wa hizbiya blind partisanship and sectarianism it never ceases wallahu musta'an and so it's very important for us to have an idea of what it means when we say salafiyah فإن السلفية هي اعتقاد فرقة الناجية المنصورة إلى قيام الساعة أهل السنة والجماعة وأهل الحديث وتعني النسبة إلى السلف الصالح رضوان الله عليهم وهم من تقدمنا من هذه الأمة مبارك من ريال الأول من أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم ومن بعدهم من قرون الثلاثة ومن اتبعهم بأحسان على منهج النبوة الذي جاء به الوحي الشريف سلفية حبت في الله It's the creed of the فرقة الناجية The saved sect المنصورة Until the day of judgment And this comes from a hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Or a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, for example, the hadith of iftiraq where the Prophet وسلم, talked about those who would be saved from the fire. So he وسلم, said, Kulluha finnar ila wahida. He was talking about all the sects, all this breaking into groups and sects and partisanship and hizbiyah. For example, the Ash-Sharis, the Mu'tazila, the Jahamiyyah, Khawarij, the Murjia, uh, all these various sects and groups. And in contemporary times, you have Ahzab or groups which are a little different than the sects. And we've talked about that prior on how the, to distinguish the two. But anyhow, groups like Akhwana Muslimin, Jamaat Tabliq, Hizb uh, Tahrir, and so many other groups which may not hold a particular Aqidah. Instead, you'll find within their group many different beliefs. Ala Kulihal. A firqa tanajia, the safe sect, are those who are safe from the fire. So the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that the group that the Ummah would divide into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And that means that they are the safe sect. And they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my Sahaba are upon. This is the minhaj of Ahl Sunnah. It's the minhaj of the Salaf al-Saleh. It's a minhaj in methodology and the aqidah of Ahl Hadith. And so... The Salaf al-Salih, those are the first three generations. When we talk about the Salaf, we're talking about the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala majma'een, and the Tabi'een, meaning those who followed the Sahaba, learned from the Sahaba, and were uh, on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the Itba'a Tabi'een, meaning those who came after them, who were students of the Tabi'een, and who were on Khayr wa Sunnah. And this is the Minhaj al -Nubuwa. This is the prophetic methodology uh, which came from wahi, which came from revelation. And the opposite of that is of course firqa, furqa or firqa. Furqa with a, uh, a farqa, with a, a firqa, with a kasra on, on the fa. This refers to a ta'ifa min an nas. This refers to uh, a group from amongst uh, people when we say firqa. So when we say firqa to najia, we're saying the saved sects, we're talk saved sect. We're talking about a group from amongst the people that bi idnillah are saved because they adhere to that prophetic minhaj. The uh, other term when we say a furqa, this refers to division. So when it has a, a, a dhamma, it refers to iftiraq, it refers to dividing, splitting into sects and groups. For example, when we talk about those other uh, groups that they had iftiraq, 
And that's why the Prophet وسلم, what did he say? He said, If tarakatil Yahud ala ita was rain firka, with tarakatin Nasara ala ith natain was rain firka, was a taftariku hathi umala thalatha was rain firka. The Prophet وسلم, said the Jews will break into 71 sects, the Christians into 72 sects, my ummah into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. So here the Prophet وسلم, is letting us know about iftiraq, which is madmoom, this is uh, sinful, and this is. Uh, uh, discouraged in Islam that we should not divide but rather we should be united on the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam we already mentioned the hadith and in another hadith the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said La tazal taifatum min ummati zahirin ala haqla yudurhum min khalafuhum wa lal min khadalahum hatta yati amr Allah wa hum kathalik ruahum muslim on Thoban. This is the hadith of Thoban radiallahu ta'ala anhu that was collected in Sahih Muslim in which the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there won't cease to be a group from amongst my nation that are uh, present. That are pre present and on the haqq. So that means someone from Ahl Sunnah will always be mawjood. They'll always be present. They'll always be on the haqq calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not calling to Hizbiyah, not calling to themselves, not calling to their, their clique and their crew and their group, not calling to their maktaba, not calling to their their uh, merkaz, their, their, their mahad, their university, whatever, that's not the their dawah because those types of dawah are dawah of Hizbiyah or lead to Hizbiyah whereas dawah to Ahl Sunnah is calling as our Shaykh Imam Muqbil, he said it so beautifully and I love this quote Qala Imam Muqbil Rahmatullah alayhi Rahmatin wasi'ah And may Allah yaskinuhu fi jannat of Rados Ameen Imam Ala sunnat al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Haqqin bi idnillah ta'ala And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge him And knows best Imam Muqbil said Da'wah to Ahl al-Sunnah Da'wah to nila kitab illah Min kitab illah Wa min Sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ila Sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah. This is calling from the book of Allah to the book of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's our da'wah. If we were really truthful about that, we would not call to force people to take our opinions. You need to take a position. Uh, there's a difference between Muhammad bin Hadi and Sheikh Rabi'i. There's this difference here. There's different. You better take a mokif or we're going to make tibdi of you. you. Oh, you're one of the mu'aq. You, you, you are one of those people who have waqf uh, or who are... <laughs> well, Allah understand. So testing the people, this is not uh, in this w way and forcing the people to take your view. When ulama of the sunnah have differences and argue and disagree and sometimes are mistaken and sometimes desires come into the fact. But for you to involve yourself and to force others to take a position and throw away all their salafiyya, all their adherence to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and call them to that. Make al-wala wal bara, this is hezbiya. So beware of it. And this is the first sitting, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.